one by one the people trickled in at the CID quarter to disclaim the allegation that they are part of the 1,018 ghost pensioners whose pictures were published in a section of the media. The iron of it is that some of the people who recorded statements say they know the pictures but not the names on the captions. 70-year-old Christopher Chivige's picture appeared in the newspapers but bearing a different name, Rukundo Aloysius. The former driver of East African Post and Telecommunication painstakingly made his trip to the headquarters for the first time. Weary and worried, Chivilige told in TV that he retired in 1990 after working for 20 years and he has been receiving his pension of 80,000 shillings every month through Post Bank in Bombo contrary to the ghost list, which shows he earns over 20 million shillings. But as investigations into the graft in the Minister of Public Service continue, it is alleged that most of the 1,018 ghost pensioners were paid under the East African <coughs> Beneficiaries Association. It is also alleged that all the 63 billion shillings lost from government coffers between February and October 2011 was paid through Cairo International Bank. Another victim of alleged forgery of pension documents is Captain Stephen Macelli, the former pilot of the East African Airlines. And of course the name which they have used on my picture is not my real name. It is the name of a gentleman by the name of Alunio Paul. But he has never been qualified for pension after retiring a year ago from Kenya Airways, where he was a pilot. The shock you get is when people start seeing that maybe you are part of the corruption when actually somebody is using your picture. Now, some people, including those living in the diaspora, whose pictures appeared in the papers, are threatening to sue the ministry. Uh, this one, I think we'll have to see it as a group and then seek legal advice. This is an option that may not be open to the likes of Chibilige, who may stop at recording statements with the police and being a key witness when court sessions begin. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.